Right, I haven't done a very good job of levelling, but it's not a permanent level. It was really just to just have it not quite so humpy in the middle because actually next on the instructions today is not to fit the base rails. It is actually to construct both double sliding doors. We are having double sliding door this end, that end, sorry, um, and a single sliding door at this end, which will be the back of the tunnel to us. Um, but you make the doors first and then you build the frame around the door so that you know it's an exact fit and what we have to do next is actually fit the door frames and then you fit the base rails so looks like that's today's job and I have to say that is having watched the video the scariest job so far sliding door furniture, kit one, kit two. I feel like there should be three of them because, well, yes there is. There's three. One for each door. Right, just need a husband now to come and help. I mean, I kind of, I've laid it out, I kind of know what to do in theory. Um, we are having the most weirdest summer. Might as well open the... That's better. I'm still waiting for Duncan, so I've decided to dig the trench to sink the door frames into. Finished. Also, have you noticed? Put my jumper on. The sun's come back out. So, south is that way. Obviously, the sun rose in the east over there and it's up there at the moment. So, it's going to be quite warm in here. I get distracted easily while waiting. Just thought I'd come back and have a look what's going on on the pond. Isn't it pretty? I think it's called. Autumn dandelion or hawk bit. That's always a worry when the autumn plants are out. nailing the battens on. We'll have to cut the cross member battens to size though. Oh, like a glove. It's like I knew what I was doing. knock the button on the bottom 
keep the door frame square when you sink it into the ground. It's going in this trench now. Just check and we've got the 190 centimeters to the top of the lintel clearance. Well, it's taken us three and a half hours to make one door frame and fit it and a door. We're not doing very well, are we? Good morning, it's day two for part three. I've been across and laid out all the components to the double sliding doors and I am just about to dig the trench for this side of the door the doors made. Placed the two doors on top of the door frames so that we can measure how wide the top lintel needs to be between them. Gotta make that cut. And again, batten at the bottom frame square whilst you're placing it in the ground. More support plates for the door frames, just tacking them up. Just made a bit of a plumb line, mark the middle of the door, so the middle of the door we will now line up to the plumb line. Door fits the top frame with T-clips. In. Next step is to put the support bars in and these are to help take the strain of the door as it slides open. The next stage will be the timber base rails, battening and the hotspot tape before we get to the polythene. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.